The fashion in which last season ended with us holding a six or seven point lead with three and a half minutes to go and then letting Sunrise go on a uh, you know, 14 0 run or something to finish the game. AFG, the reigning champions from two years ago. Sunrise Christian will play for the Geico High School National Championship for the first time ever. 70 to 63, they knock off the reigning champs from 2019. We wanted them to chew on that for all of the preseason, all the way into the season, and then see if we can make growth in life more than basketball, honestly, just approach. I felt I let a couple things slide with our group last year just because I felt familiarity with a good portion of them and forgot for a second that they were still kids. The long game. We talked about it a significant amount last year about the long game. It don't matter how you start. It matters how you finish. One-on-one -on -one with Eric Daly Jr. who's going to go and he turns around behind the back. When you do have seven seniors, there's a lot of dynamics that go into it, especially when you have seven seniors that are as talented as we have. It can be a, like a gift and it can be a curse. And now the alley-oop for Jarris Walker. Bachelor looking for his third three. Close, but Bradley right now is on fire. But the main thing is understanding that when they get on the court to continue to use what they feel for each other off on. Last year, when I was asked pretty much the same question in terms of, you know, what's the goal? The goal is the goal. The goal is to be there in the last day with an opportunity to, to win the whole thing. It's going to be ups and downs. The road is not going to be straight. But as long as you keep traveling on that road, you'll eventually end up to your destination. But you don't get there without doing all the boring and all the stuff in between. And, and I felt at some points last year, we focused on the goal more than we did on the daily. What's their approach going to be every day? whether it's on time to class, on time to the gym, getting in extra work. You're not gonna get worse working out or waking up early in the morning to get breakfast. It's little things. The little things start to add up as you get older. And if we learn those little things now, we only become better people and players. For my senior season, I set a really high goal. I remember when I was a sophomore, we had five seniors on our team. I just watched how those guys worked and watched their, their efforts on and off the court, how they took everything so serious, knowing it's their last go around. I always knew that my time would come, but I didn't know it would come this soon. Well, I think Eric has come a long way. Uh, you know, obviously he's been here since uh, middle school. He's trying to impact the game on more than just scoring. He's having assists, he's defending, he's rebounding, he's running the floor. You know, we're, we're putting him on guys that are centers. He's not a center. The more you can impact winning, which isn't easy to do. You know, as the season moves, you're just moving, right? You just you never stop. You have to really stop and drive home each day a lesson of some sort. Well, the NIBC is an eight-team league from teams that are all over the country. You're generally dealing with eight teams that have been and are consistently ranked in the top 25 with a good portion of them ranked in the top five. It was our first game playing actual competition from top guys in the first session. Most of those teams have been playing already. One versus two here tonight. Could you imagine better players, better teams taking on each other than what we're about to see? I couldn't personally, but the NIBC did. You win or lose to, to Montverde, Sunrise, Oak Hill on December 2nd. None of that matters if you don't bear down and learn the lessons of what happened in that particular day, right? This is the matchup that we won. I can barely hear you, Drew, because that's how raucous the student section is here at Montverde. Died at nine. On the outside now, it's Daly, and he puts it in. Split. How about George? Going oh, for it! Whoa! Wow, Keontae George! Montverde, everybody knows that's our quote-unquote rival. When we win on that court, everybody played out of pride. You have to be significantly better if you're going to play somebody like that on their home floor. No matter what happened or how it happened or how it looked, we just wanted to win. Whitehead pulls the trigger. Come on. This is Bradley. Offensive back. bobbles it. Now takes it up off balance. Off the I 
I felt we scrapped and fought and uh, were tough defensively and offensively. Obviously, we were able to use some of the things that we can do uh, with the talent that we have. Uh, and then we're able to finish it off with Keontae sticking with it on the on the last play. Probably wait for about 10 seconds. Keontae George, the lane is open. It's blocked. Puts it back up and in. Six seconds. Hood Shafino. Clock winding down. He'll fire it at the buzzer. I lost them four times since I since I've been here, and to win on their home court. Hey, let's go! I think at the end of every season, you're, you're forced to self-reflect in some manner, whether you win the whole thing or you lose. In the end, only one team leaves happy. Lessons need to be driven home every day. 